Hey guys, so my face is not done right now, but um, I'm like smack in the middle of recording a different video. But I wanted to do this video um, as I'm doing my foundation routine on how to apply false lashes. I thought I would never be able to do this and I finally learned how. I finally got them to look good. I know which style works on my eye shape and um, I really love putting them on every weekend now. My best friend and I had like this infamously bad experience at MAC getting our lashes applied and I was like my best friend was like forget it just forget it you know it doesn't even make enough of a difference for me to deal with this but I felt like it it looks really really nice when you do certain eye looks like you need the you need those lashes you know to really make it all come together and um, even when I don't have on eyeshadow I just have on my liner and lashes I feel like um, it just looks so pretty and I'm really glad I learned how to do it and I found it so tricky and I hope that my tips today can help you with that. Um, really quickly, I'm going to show you which ones I'm going to use today. They are the Ardell 124s. I really like the Ardell 110s as well, but I'm out of those. Um, but those are my two favorite styles. Um, the 124s kind of have this effect to them where it looks like, you know, voluminous thin, voluminous thin, like... Some of them, you know, are like a little bit more pronounced. And I think they just packed more hairs every few, you know, um, to alter it. And I don't know. It's just a certain effect that it gives. I really like the 110s, but I don't have any right now. Um, some ones that I don't like are the, these either either Ardell or Andrea. Ardell, I think, 101s. They're just too full. And they look really rounded on the eye, and I don't find that these look good on me um and the same problem for these red cherry number ones they're just too full like I like mine to be voluminous but I prefer to have them natural looking and then add mascara it's a little um less convenient than them just being so so dark but when they're like that they just it's too much for me um I also got some Andrea 53s and I thought that I would like these a lot and I found that I need this shape. I need the inner corner on my eye shape. I need the inner corner to be short, the middle to be long, and the outer corner to be short again. I find that that's best on my eye shape to have kind of uh, almond shaped hooded eyes. And I find that the long short long works for me. These just go from short to long. Like the longest part is the outer corner. Short to long. And these look okay and if you're wearing like a cat eye and you want this really pronounced cat eye shape these work for that because it's the most length is out here but I don't know for my eye shape I really like the long short long thing the 124s are like that the 110s are like that um, the 110s have a longer strip so it goes it covers more of your lash line and I feel like um, I think they're they're very long but they're not as voluminous as these they both look great once you put mascara on them. So, enough talking about the actual lashes. Let's get started on applying them. And I'm pretty sure that I left my tweezers downstairs. So I'll be back in just a second with all my tools. So the things that you need will include the lashes, of course, um, a mirror. For my method, you will need tweezers. Any tweezers will do. I have Tweezer Man, which are kind of expensive brand of tweezers, but um, that's just from when I used to pluck my eyebrows. Um, you can really use any tweezers. Um, get Duo Eyelash Adhesive, preferably in the color Clear White. Um, there's another one that has pink packaging. It's pink instead of this pretty blue color, and that one is like... Um, it goes from, it comes out of the tube gray and it dries black and I feel like there's less room for error, especially if you're a beginner, you should start with the clear white one and this is the one I'll always use. I'll probably throw out the other one I have if I ever find it. Um, anyway, uh, the last thing you'll need is liquid liner or gel liner, some kind of eyeliner. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to pop open this packaging. Again, these are the Ardell 124s. And I really, really like this shape, this style. Um, first thing we have to do, I'm going to show you guys everything. Um, the first thing that we have to do is remove the lashes 
they're stuck onto this little tray with some adhesive. So, um, how can I show you this? Okay, go ahead and um, take your tweezers and gently grab the inner corner of the lashes and just peel as gently as you can and it'll come off. And then I'll just place it back down and get the other one. Uh-oh, flipped over on me. Um, yeah, so just grab the inside corner. Peel off the tray. And I'll just place them back down for now. So they're, they're not stuck on there all intensely anymore. Okay, so now we're going to open up our glue. And there are directions on this little tube, and they're pretty much true. Um, just peel off any like dried glue that might be on here. You just want um, this to go as smoothly as possible. So I always start, for whatever reason, with my right eye. So I'm going to grab the right lash. If you hold this tray up to your eyes, then they would they'd be the right, the correct ones. So you guys can read the 124 black there um so you grab the right one for your right eye and I'm holding the lashes in the middle by the hairs with my tweezers and I some people take some glue and they put it on a q-tip um, Q-tips have little fibers that can come off in the process and I just prefer to go ahead and put the glue directly on the lashes. Um, so I'm going to do that. I hope you guys can see. And this will come out like in a little bubble sometimes. Just try to work with it. You'll get the hang of it. Um, but I'm just going to get the glue on. Okay, the glue is on the lashes. I like to focus a little more glue at the ends than anywhere else because the inside and the outside corners, if anything, will start to lift throughout the day as you wear these. They'll start to come off if you don't put enough glue there. Um, so that's how much glue I have on these. And then you're supposed to let this sit for about 30 seconds for it to get tacky. Some people will tell you like two or three minutes. I feel like that's too much tack. That's too tacky. Um, because then once you place it down, you won't be able to move it. It'll be pretty a pretty strong hole by that time. So what I like to do while this glue is drying is to put them down. You can put them back on the tray or... Um, I prefer to put them just on like a paper towel or something. So I'm going to do that real quick because um, time is of the essence. I'll be right back. So I literally just place them down and sometimes like it'll just flip over on you because it's a little like top heavy with the glue and just try to flip it back down and let it dry. I recommend you let it dry while you do your eyeliner because that for me just always gives me the perfect amount of time where it, they're not too tacky. And they're also not, you know, not tacky enough, not sticky enough for you to get the job done. And, but you also don't have to sit there and hold it on your tweezers, you know, while um, the glue is getting tacky. And you're moving along your process, the makeup process, while you're waiting. So I'm going to um, go ahead and apply my black liquid liner. And um, this is actually a huge part of my process, a huge trick to this. Um, and I'll explain that in just a second because I want to get started on this um, before that glue gets dry. So I'm going to shake up my liquid liner. I'm using Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, which is my absolute favorite liquid liner. It's one of these um, pen types. My camera will not focus. Oh, there you go. And um, I'm just going to use this mirror and I'm going to do my liquid liner. I'm really bad at doing this on camera. Because I like to sit a certain way because I don't have a steady hand. And it helps me get this done. But I'm going to try to show you what I do. And try to stay in the frame. 
I just start in the middle of my eye. And I work my way outwards in small strokes. And then um, I go toward the inner corner. And I like to bring it all the way in. Make sure. You start as thin as possible. It looks weird if you go too thick on this inner part. Work my way back out to the outer corner. I'm not in the frame, sorry. I'm gonna do my wing. Bring it back and fill in this triangle of empty space. And we've laid down a basic shape um, on which to put our lashes. Let me zoom back out. Ah, that's in. Okay. Um, so that's a huge part of my process. I It's like I don't know where to put my lashes. This is a little too high now. But it's like I don't know where to put my lashes if I don't um, have down liner first. So that's like, if you've been struggling with applying your lashes, please put down some liner first learn how to line your eyes if you're you know new to makeup and you don't know yet and that will really once you get your eyeliner shape down that really helps you see or really helped me at least know where i should put my lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my lashes now we're gonna put those on so i want to show this to you this is what they look like now some of the glue is starting to get clear for us and that's a good sign i don't know if you'll be able to see but you see how it doesn't look like there's glue everywhere? There is glue everywhere, but some of it is going clear. So let me zoom in again. Okay. So, this is the part that's tricky. But it's going to be okay. I just hope I can film this. Um, it's just tricky to film this and do it at the same time. I'm going to look at the mirror. And I'm just going to place this in the middle of my eye. And then I'm going to attach the inner corner and then I'm going to attach the outer corner. So we place replaced. I'm going to attach the inner corner sorry I can't talk and do this then the outer corner Grab the lash with the tweezer, grab the hair, not the band. And place it to your skin. Right on top of that liner. The inner corner is not quite attached, so I'm going to attach it. You can close your eye and just push this to your skin very gently and hold. to help it adhere. I'm going to take the back of my tweezers and I'm going to pat. I'm going to press this glue onto my skin, onto that liner to further help it adhere. I'm just going to really make sure that outer quarters, corner is attached. And then, when things are pretty well attached, I'm going to get in there with my finger, um, my ring finger. I find that that really helps further secure this. So go ahead and just tap where the band adjoins to your eye. I know that the glue is still white. It'll turn more clear. And on top of that, we're going to go over this glue with some more liquid liner in a bit. 
But I'm just looking down, not even looking at it, at a mirror or anything. I'm just feeling. You can look at a mirror, but I'm not right now. I'm just feeling. And attaching, and now I'm gonna look in the mirror and try to stay in the frame at the same time. And really make sure that inner corner is done. I think it could still use some securing. So I'm gonna go back with my tweezers. And that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. It doesn't matter if your liner isn't perfect at first because I always find that I have to go back over it um, because now you have a lash on your eye and if you want your liner to still be pronounced, you just you need to go over it again and strengthen that line up. I'm going to grab my tweezers and grab my lashes. Sorry guys, I really wanted to do it all on camera, but I had the hardest time getting my left one done on camera. But yeah, it's really important not to let them get too tacky or it'll be so dry that it doesn't want to stick to your eye anymore. But at the same time, you don't want it, um, or something, if it's too tacky also, when you place it down, if you find that you have to move it a little, adjust it for it to be at the right place on your eye, it won't want to move um, because it's just so sticky by this time. But if you don't let it get tacky enough, um, it'll move on your eye too much and it will just never hold. Um, you know, when you place it, it just won't hold on and stay where you put it, if you did put it in the right place. So you have to kind of learn the timing. Um, but what usually works for me is just um, lining my eye and um, letting the glue get tacky while I line. Um, so I'm going to touch up my liner now on both eyes, try to do that on camera. It's going to go over. Any gaps from where we placed on the lash and maybe moved it around and took off some liner. And this outer corner always needs touching up after I put on my lashes. Usually to make it a little more extended because it goes with the lashes usually. And you can go right over the band um, in case it's not completely clear or sometimes it'll look a little glossy or it's still white and you're afraid it's not going to dry clear or whatever. Just go ahead and go over it with your liquid or gel liner. It's a little easier to do with a true liquid liner than these because um, they're a little rigid, but I just really like the control that 
pen tip liners have. But, let me zoom back out. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, we are basically done. Um, we have our lashes on. So, yeah, just learn which style of um, lashes work for you. I find that lashes make a big difference in my overall look. I think they're really pretty. And I have hooded eyes. So my eyes are kind of almond-shaped, and then they're hooded, which means that when I look straight at you, you can't see my eyelid. This is my eyelid. You can't see this part, the, any of this skin. When I open my eyes, it kind of goes up under this little fold. So I guess in hooded eyes, this would be the hood. You know, and some people's actually drapes kind of down over their eye. Mine doesn't really do that, but my lid is, you know, unless I lean my head back, then you can see my lid. But other than that, you know, if I look straight, you, you can't see my eyelid. And those are hooded eyes. And something about that shape, um, somebody was saying on YouTube that lashes really make a difference for people with hooded eyes. And I, I think it's just something about it. It just, um, flatters, it just flatters that eye shape. You know, my best friend said she doesn't really feel like lashes make a difference on her. She doesn't have hooded eyes at all. Um, she has a channel. You can go check it out if you haven't yet. But she has, you know, just these beautiful, really defined creases. I think both eye shapes are beautiful, but they're different. And different things flatter different eyes. Um, not to say, like, people... Without hooded eyes, it doesn't make a difference to have lashes. Like, yeah, it's, it's whatever you um, like to do. But I do agree that they make a particular difference with people with hooded eyes. Um, because our eyes are kind of like, I don't know, just prominent. And then you can see, like, all the skin here. And this just kind of, just like, I don't know, it, it just it flatters it. It flatters the shape. Um, but in any case... Um, you know, you might, your eye shape, you might like the kind that are fuller. You might like the kind that are um, more winged at the edges. I like them to be sort of short in here in the inner corner, longer in the middle, and um, longer out here. Um, shorter out here. You can go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara, and I'm going to do that right now. Um, something I like to do, actually, is to do my mascara um, after my liner and then put these on and then put just a touch more or you can just put a little at the end which is what I'm doing today and just run it through just to darken up those lashes a little bit more and then get your bottom lashes I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye if you have really full lashes that you bought you might not it might not make a difference to to add mascara but it does on these and you don't have to um wear new lashes every time i wore new ones today because i wanted to show you guys how to take it off the tray but you can go ahead and um reuse your lashes i've reused um ardell and andrea ones like three four times successfully um just use them until the lashes like start to cramp or get damaged in some way but you can you know once the glue is dry you can peel them off at night and it's fine um and, you know, maybe I'll come back tonight and I'll even record how I remove them for you because um, some people say they just peel them off. I'm afraid to damage the skin on my eyes and sometimes your glue is still holding on really strong by the end of the day. And I have tips for what to do to remove. So I'll be back tonight. But this is the finished look. These are the lashes. And again, these were the Ardell 124s. I also recommend the 110s if you like the same shape that I like. And I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Um, and I gotta go. So I really hope you enjoyed. Please thumbs up if you like it. Um, please subscribe. I've got some tutorials coming up. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. There's plenty more in store. Um, but thank you for watching regardless. And until next time, bye.